Okay, what I've got here is a motherboard where four of the capacitors, these four here, um, are, are leaking. Uh, you might be able to see that the, uh, if I zoom in a bit, you might be able to see that the tops are actually uh, bulging. But if you can see that. But this one here and this one here has certainly started to leak. And what happens is when you power the board up, after about uh, a minute, it just restarts and it just goes through a cycle of um, shutting down and restarting. Um, now the board isn't actually worth that much money. Um, I probably wouldn't even be able to give it away on eBay. But it comes out of a factory and the software that's on the, um, the machine, um, we need to get that off. Um, so we really we need to keep the PC running for at least another couple of months. Now I have done this before and uh, the machine ran for about another three years so it certainly gave us time to uh, fix the problem. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and ordered some um, new capacitors from eBay and um, they came from this company and I've had them from, uh, I don't know if you can see that, a bit light. Like. I've had them from here before, um, they came next day and um, yeah really good service so as you can see they're pretty much exactly the same capacitors 105 degrees temperature rating same uh, make and everything so uh, only cost a couple of pounds so what I've done is I've gone ahead and actually marked the board on the back side um, plus and minus to show which way around the capacitors go in. You really need to get these things in the right way, otherwise they'll probably explode. So when you're doing this, you need to make sure your iron is very hot. Um, I use a 24 volt um, iron. It's going to take a little while to get the um, joint hot enough. You might need to just rock back forwards. Try not to pull the capacitor too tightly, and there you go. As you can see, that is well and truly worn out. So this is the uh, motherboard in and working, um, it's been on for about 20 minutes and no blue screens, no shut offs, no power downs or anything, so change the capacitors definitely fix the problem.